This is Ted Cantu with Hot Metro Finds. We're looking at October Rocktoberfest. What happened in the last month of rocking out in Chicago? Uh, some unbelievable stuff. We were there for one of the great art flops of the century. We're talking about the Great Chicago Fire Festival of 2014. And, you know, we were really anticipating an amazing spectacle. Uh, I can never say no to a good time. And this thing looked really promising. I first saw the picture of the floating barge on the river and it's a big sign on it that said come watch me burn and it gave the dates and uh, it sounded like a really cool cool thing it was put on by the red moon theater in chicago and um, got a lot of press on this thing and a lot of people are really really excited about it the story is there's a recreation of the great chicago fire on the river and there was actually three barges placed on the riverfront and we didn't really know how many people were going to show up i ended up going and I was over on the State Street side, right across the street from, or I should say across the river from Dick's Last Resort, and I was anticipating something really amazing. Now, we waited out there for about an hour, uh, and it went on to about two hours. <laughs> two hours. My, 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 uh, my feet were falling asleep because we were actually standing on an angle on the riverbank, and it was elbow-to-elbow -elbow people, and it was really, really tough to... Uh, kind of stay there for that long and there was just nothing happening a lot of things went wrong obviously because uh there was never any great fire and uh we had these cauldrons that were supposed to you know kick on and it, long story short the, the the structures were water damaged from the rain so nothing happened and i think the the best the best thing out of the whole experience was that People on Michigan Avenue got a chance to see the fireworks, and they got a chance to see, you know, something kind of happen. I, I believe one of the structures actually caught on fire, but the other two, uh, you know, didn't. So there's this long procession of this music. It sounded like like a Tim Burton type music, and it was on a loop, and it just drove me nuts. And it played for like like ten minutes. I mean, I'm not kidding. This thing went on for. It seemed longer though because it was so repetitious, and there was also some guy banging a gong and I didn't understand how that connected to the festival um, the, the, the narration of the festival uh, talking about the, the, the history of the Great Chicago Fire was really was really long winded and um, it was a letdown I mean <laughs> nothing nothing happened we ended up leaving early before uh, well I guess before nothing right because nothing happened uh, I couldn't stand there any longer and I had to go we were going to cover the Agent Orange concert over in Wicker Park and we were there for some other shows so we actually left about 9 nine thirty, and it was just a complete debacle so rumor has it though they're going to do this thing again next year I'm not sure if I'm going to go to it. it. It sounded like a really cool idea, but if they do it next year, I got some suggestions. They should they should have a really quick 20-minute presentation, and that's it. And they should really go into the festivities of you know blowing these things up or whatever they're going to do. And they should have the fireworks you know immediately right after. This thing should not be drawn out for two hours. Uh, and I'll and if I do go, I'm actually going to go sit inside Dick's Last Resort by the riverfront and get some food because and just watch the show from there i'm not going to go stand on, on some riverbank for two hours again that was ridiculous and if they don't do it again in 20 minutes uh i'm, I'm out of there i'm not going to stick around so that's that's the thing and uh it has been called one of the biggest flops of chicago's art history and it's right up there with the unveiling of the picasso sculpture when that was first revealed to the people had a very very negative reaction and of course it's a classic icon of, of Chicago landscape today but back when this thing was first revealed people didn't really like it so this actually was ranked right up there along with that disappointing moment and that's pretty bizarre to think about but that's that's the way it was and we were there for the whole thing and it was quite <laughs> quite a letdown anyway for more information about that we got some uh, really cool video footage from the festival and we've also got some great articles here about some of the bands that pop through chicago slaughter and the dogs played at reggie's and we have some shows from wicker park which is uh, agent orange and some great video footage so keep watching and check us out at hotmetrofines.com